Hey there, welcome to the Kristen Carla channel. Today I'm going to talk about why coconut oil is so good for your hair. I have tried out so many different beauty oils or different oils, period. Avocado oil, olive oil, almond oil, just so many. And all of those oils have great benefits, but hands down, organic coconut oil has proven, at least for me, to be the best oil for moisturizing my hair, to keep it strong and healthy. So let's get into some details about why coconut oil is so good for your hair. Hair strength and elastic strengthening the hair from within and allowing the hair to be more elastic and less prone to breakage. On labmuffin.com, she says coconut oil has shorter fatty acid chains, about 50% lauric acid, which is 12 carbons long, and 20%, I might be mispronouncing this, but meristic acid, which is 14 carbons long. Additionally, coconut oil contains mostly linear saturated fatty acids, which means coconut oil molecules are more compact as well. So it's easier for coconut oil to pass into the cell membrane complex, which boosts its ability to form a water blocking layer. She also says that it's the oxygen atoms in the coconut oil that helps the oil work so well for your hair. She says that the oxygen atoms allow the coconut oil to interact with hair proteins via hydrogen bonding, and be sucked into the inner part of the hair. And I'm sure there's so much more science behind it, but it's very clear that coconut oil is incredibly unique in its properties that allows it to work so well with moisturizing your hair, being able to penetrate the hair, and helping your hair with being stronger overall. Some additional benefits is that it's vitamin rich. It's rich with vitamin K, vitamin E, and also iron. The oil also has antibacterial and antifungal properties, which help with protecting your scalp against lice and dandruff as well. And if you want to boost the shine in your hair, especially if you want to boost the color, coconut oil is great for that. And it's also great with taming frizz. So if your hair is prone to getting really frizzy throughout the day, all you need is a little bit of coconut oil and it will help with that as well. So there's so many different ways that you can use coconut oil in your hair. And it's definitely not a one size fits all. Really find the routine or the DIY uh, technique that works best for you. And there are two key ways that oiling your hair can help and I'm going to refer to Lab Muffin as well on these two tips. When oil is applied on hair after washing and before combing, it lubricates the hair so there's less friction leading to less snagging. But more powerfully though, if you add the oil to your hair before washing, the oil coats the hair in a protective layer. So since oil is water repellent, less water will get inside the hair. So there's a lot less swelling. The cuticle scales stick up less, so less damage occurs. I did not know that. I actually really like to pre-poo with it. So I will put a lot of coconut oil in my hair for about an hour or two before washing my hair. Also, I like to gently moisturize my hair with it. You don't really need a lot, by the way, but I'll just take a little bit and it's already kind of like melted. Gently moisturize my hair with it and really focusing on the ends, but it's really great for like all of your hair, your scalp all the way down uh, to the ends of your hair. And I'll just go through my hair and just gently twist through all the way down to the ends, allowing maximum penetration of the oil into my hair. And then I'll wrap up my hair with two clips according to my usual wrapping method that you may have seen in a previous video, and then put on a satin or silk scarf and I'm ready for bed. And then when I take my hair down in the morning, my hair feels gently moisturized. And if I want to add a little bit of coconut oil in the morning to my hair, I can, but I really don't have to. I feel like as long as I moisturize my hair at night and wrap my hair, my hair is really good to go. Another thing that I love to do is put quite a bit of coconut oil in my hair before doing a protective style. And I don't have to use the coconut oil sparingly. I can actually put a little bit more in my hair, put my hair up in a bun. Since I did my haircut, there's going to be other protective styles that I'll consider and I'll talk about that in an upcoming video. But I can still put a little bit more coconut oil in my hair and put my hair up in a certain way and that way my hair can benefit from more coconut oil throughout the day. The thing that you want to avoid is oversaturating your hair with the oil where your hair becomes super greasy and oily. You don't want that. Also as an FYI, coconut oil melts at I believe 76 degrees Fahrenheit, but there's no special treatment or rules in terms of storing it. Just be mindful of that temperature. It's perfectly suitable for room temperature and you can keep it up to two years. And my last tip with coconut oil is make sure that you get organic coconut oil not something that's packed with a whole bunch of other chemicals or ingredients. Just be careful, make sure it's the real deal before you purchase it. So yeah, that's it, thanks for watching. Definitely stay tuned for next week's My Look Monday.